Hi everyone, myself Dr. Vinod. In a previous video regarding Molnupiravir tablet, I had mentioned about the mechanism of action of the drug based on the phase 3 interim results. Recently, FDA had released multiple guidelines regarding the usage of the drug as well as India's ICMR also released some guidelines as well as limitations regarding the usage of the drug. Let me discuss about the recent updates regarding Molnupiravir in this video. At first, regarding the mechanism of action of drug Molnupiravir, I had already explained regarding it in a previous video. I will share the link in description for reference. Coming to today's topic proper, does Molnupiravir is a magic drug to cure COVID-19? The answer is no. Then what is the role of Molnupiravir in COVID-19 treatment? Molnupiravir effectively reduces the chances of hospitalization in people with mild and moderate COVID-19 symptoms who are all under hope quarantine. Let me explain this 30% reduction with a simple example. Assume that there are two study groups with 100 patients each. Each patients are COVID positive with mild or moderate symptoms. In one group, they will receive placebo and the other group, they will receive molnupiravir tablets. If for example, this out of this 100 patients, 10 patients end up in hospitalization from placebo group, only 7 patients will be getting hospitalized with further symptoms from molnupiravir group. So there is 30% reduction in chance of hospitalization. Okay doctor, I have COVID-19 symptoms which are mild. Shall I take molnupiravir over the counter? The answer is no because molnupiravir has its own known side effects. That's why recently FDA had mentioned that the drug has to be used with caution. India's National Task Force for COVID-19 management, they have refused to include molnupiravir in it. Recently ICMR had also mentioned limitations for the usage of molnupiravir. Let us discuss it one by one. First thing, molnupiravir tablet has to be started within 5 days of initial symptoms. Since molnupiravir being a drug to prevent viral replication, it is effective only in this phase. Second thing, it is effective in people with high risks for hospitalization like age above 50 years with kidney failure or heart patients or patients with immunocompromised condition. This will prevent the chances of hospitalization. Third one, molnupiravir have to be avoided in people less than 18 years of age. Since their skeletal system is somewhat underdeveloped, there is a chance that molnupiravir can cause harmful degradation in muscles, ligaments and cartilage. Fourth one, molnupiravir should be avoided in pregnant females. Since during animal studies, there was a chance of teratogenicity, which means there is the causage of defects in growing fetus. Molnupiravir should be avoided in pregnant females. But under some circumstances, when there is no other treatment is available, molnupiravir can be used with extreme caution in pregnant females. Final guideline, if you are planning for a baby in near future, both men and women should take contraception for next 3 months after completing the course of molnupiravir. Even though molnupiravir tablet is effective, avoid self-medication. Consult your medical practitioner before taking molnupiravir. If you find this video useful, do like and share. Thank you.